hi everyone um, today we're going to do columns and uh, again it's going to be very simple remember earlier on I showed you how to do line numbers now we're going to insert columns now we're going to use these two paragraphs to insert our columns uh, let me just double check here. all right first of all let's insert a page break so I'm gonna put my curse in front of offer one I'm gonna press control on my keyboard or control my keyboard and press enter that's one way of doing to insert a page break another way would be the long way again put your curse in front of what needs to go to the next page and insert click on insert and insert a page break that's another way of doing it or you can also make sure again your cursor is where it needs to be and you can click on layout breaks and insert a page break okay but the quickest one is to press control on your keyboard um, hold it in while you press enter all right now we're going to insert or create or we're going to change these two paragraphs or actually one two three four paragraphs we're going to um, uh, change them into two columns I just want to quickly just make this a little bit the page just a little bit smaller so that we can actually see what we're doing all right so now I'm going to select the contents remember I need to select the whole contents because this is the, the this is the content that I want to uh, use for my columns and what I do then I go to layout I click on layout and I select columns I can use one of these options here but I prefer that you don't rather click on more columns the reason for that is so that because you get more options and only once you are here then you select two columns remember you might be asked to insert a line in between you might even be asked to change the width or the spacing but we're not going to go into that right now just make sure that you select two columns and it's applied to the selected text in other words the text that we selected and also that equal column widths are also ticked once you are happy click OK all right now what you what I also tell my students is that make sure that your ruler is visible if your ruler is not visible like that for example make sure that it's visible you click on view and then you tick the ruler checkbox all right the reason why it's a good thing to have your ruler visible so that you can actually see whether or not you have columns now as you can clearly see here we do this is one little problem here both my content my two um, paragraphs they are still in one only on the one side of the column now how do I get this offer number two for example on that side very easily earlier on we inserted a page break remember now this time around we're not going to insert a page break we want to insert a column break so I'm going to make sure that I put my cursor in front of what needs to go to the next column so my cursor is where it needs to be I click on layout I go to breaks I'm not gonna insert a page break this time however I am going to insert a column break and then when I click on column break the following happens all the information that was on this side after my cursor now was sent to the second column and remember because we said we want equal parallel columns it is also nicely or neatly in line with each other it must never be skew so that's columns join me in the next video